All right, I found a little free time today. We are working on the modern mystery micro van. Got a lot accomplished. I'll show you. Look at this. Woohoo! The hatch now opens. I uh, rigged up a rod right in here so that it goes to the handle. I wound all the wires down in through the side here. I fished them down so the license plate lights work. The battery is all uh, secured. The cover is on. And what other progress? Oh, the shifter boot is back on. That's all taken care of. The vent pipe for the breather that was missing, that's taken care of. I fixed the fuel pump relay. It wasn't getting a signal, so I had to have a jumper. I got that fixed. I'm waiting for an ignition switch. I'm going to try one out of a Honda Civic to see if that works. And lots of little things. Of course, the mirrors. Got those mirrors on there. Still need to do something about this gas uh, filler. I'll work on that later. Our little puppy dog is enjoying it. This is going to be my winter feeder, and it is winter outside. It is raining and 50 degrees. And speaking of winter, I'm going to show you something here. So when this van, when I got this van, it uh, obviously has some damage back here. Something hit this uh, rear hatch and it broke the window. There's also some damage up on top in here. I don't know what really happened, but I need a window and I'm not about to pay shipping from South Korea for a rear glass. So today, I don't know if you can see here, this piece of wood right here is the outline of the glass. It was actually in the back of the van window there, keep water out. And I'm using it as a template. I'm cutting a piece of Lexon. This is quarter inch or three eighths, it's probably quarter inch Lexon. Uh, I've seen it for sale at Home Depot. I don't recall the price, maybe 20 bucks for a sheet, something like that. And what I've done is I've put the, the wood on top of the Lexon and I created a template for it. And I'm showing you right now how I'm gonna cut it. So I took my Sharpie felt marker and I went around and I'm using my Dremel. This is a Dremel Multimax with the wood and drywall blade on it. And it just vibrates like crazy. I'll show you. Set your speed to 10, the fastest speed that you got. And we'll see if we can do a little demonstration of how this works. Push it along. You probably can't hear me over that, but it does these curves really, really well. This is the easiest way to cut Lexon that I'm aware of. You can try a skill saw, you can try a router, you can try a jigsaw, but this really, really works well. I can't speak highly enough of this little Dremel tool. Having the right tools makes all the difference. And that blade, it's got the little serrated edges on there. So that's how we're cutting Lexon. We're going to cut out this Lexon glass and we're just going to screw it probably with some upholstery screws into the back, maybe with a little silicone. And I know that sounds kind of hokey, but I need something to drive now. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So Stella the shop dog here is helping me out today. Aren't you? Sweetie pie. And we're going to see if we can get this window in this van. So that's the update for today. I hope to be driving it soon. I really need my license plates, so they should be in the mail, I hope. Thanks for watching and enjoying my videos.